Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, and so today we're going to take a look at something called the fractionated Morse code cipher. Um, you're often going to see this show up on your tests. Uh, they're usually weighted really high in points, given that they take around, um, around 10 minutes or so to solve. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of a give and take situation. Um, but I always like to get these out of the way because, like I said earlier, they give you a lot of points. So the first thing you kind of want to focus on is um, Morse code. You're going to be given a table of sorts like this um, the day of the test. However, uh, it's always nice to memorize Morse code, especially if you're the person on the team that's been dedicated to doing these ciphers. Um, but with that, for now, I do have the uh, Morse code uh, right next to us while we're solving. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing you're going to see is that the quote is going to say, you have this text right here, and it corresponds to a word or a couple of words. Um, but in our case, it's going to correspond to whatever. And so if we go ahead and find that text, we're going to find it right over here. And now we're just going to uh, fill in whatever, and then we'll go from there. So we start off by uh, finding the Morse code equivalent for each of the letters. So we start off with W, um, and we're going to get uh, dot dash dash. Now, every time we put an X, that means um, it's a next, we're moving on to the next letter, and two X's means we're moving on to the next word. So it's going to be dot dash dash, and then we're going to put an X because we're moving on to our next letter, um, which is H. Now H we can see is four dots, you know, dot 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 dot, and then another X. And something for you to remember is that each of these letters in the encoded text that you can see corresponds to three um, of these like dot, 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 dash, dot, etc. All right, so we went ahead and did H. Now we go to A. A is just dot, dash, and then we add an X. T is dash, and then we add an X. And we have E, which is a dot. And then we're going to add an X. Now we're on V, which is three dots. So dot, dot, dot. And then we add an X. Then we have another E. We do a dot and then an X. And then R, which is dot, dash, dot. And now that we're at the end of the word, we're going to do two X's like that. So now if we take a look, we can see that over here, b is equal to dot dot x. However, over here, it's equal to dot x dot, which means something's clearly wrong. So what happens sometimes is here we started straight off with whatever, right? But what if it was actually, um, you know, a word um, before this over here, and then the two x's that ended the word actually started at the two at the y over there. So what what I'm trying to say here is what if the y was actually x x dot and everything moved on so forth. It's also necessary to keep in mind that the y could also just be x dot dash and the end of the o is an x. So it's good to like try all of those cases. Um so what we're going to try is uh this case over here and see if that works out for us. So essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to move all of these dots and dashes uh, two spaces over and add two x's at the beginning. So if I just do that, so it's going to go x, x, dot, dash, dash, x, dot, 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 x, dot, dash, x, dax, x, dot x dot 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 x dot x dot dash dot x x and then you know something would come afterwards 
Now if we see, both of our Bs align up to be the same thing, which means we're most likely on the correct track. So we're going to go ahead and take that, um, uh, we're going to take that placement of letters to be our go-to. And now we're going to go in and fill in the table. So uh, we know that Y is XX dash. If I just fill this in really quick, we're going to get M here, B here, H here. Then we have dash X dash. Um, dash X dash. We're going to get O. Then S is equal to dot X or X dot X. Oh, that was S. S is equal here. Then we have B again, and then we have N, which is equal to dot X dot. Oh, I see. So um, the Morse code here actually ends up going dot, 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 and then it's a dash. And then we're supposed to go x dot x dot dash dot x x so i actually messed up the morse code for the v i believe um so now that that's fixed uh the n goes here and then r ends up going over here and then a goes over here and that should look a lot better so what you want to know is that the key, there's a key word somewhere over here and that the rest of the alphabet are all in order you can kind of assume that the keyword is somewhere over here because we see Y and then the next letter obviously has to be a Z. Uh, we can also see over here, we can try filling in some of these gaps. So assuming our keyword, our, our, the rest of the R alphabet starts here, uh, we can see that M and O, P and Q have to fit in there. So we can go ahead and fill that in. So we're going to add a P and a Q. Then we have R, S, and then we know T, U, V, W, X all have to fit in three spaces, which means obviously two of them are a part of our, um, are part of our uh, code over here. And so if we take a look over here, we already have B. So here we have to fit C, D, E, F, G. We have H, I, J, K, L. So we're obviously there's a lot of work to do here. Now, the next thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and uh, fill in all of these dots and dashes based off of the letters um, that we have and then translate it to what I think it could mean. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so now that I've filled in all of the code that we so far know, I'm going to go ahead and translate um, whatever I can uh, find here to the actual text um, that we need. So obviously, we know that this is going to end up being whatever in some shape or manner. Then we see a dash at the very beginning. So the dash has to be a T. And then we see four dots. So that means it has to end in an H. And that X has to end in an X. Next, we see over here, we see dash dot dot dot. So the only one that corresponds to that is, if we take a look here, um, dash dot dot dot. So that is going to correspond to um, a B. Then we have dot, dot, dash, and that is going to correspond to a U. If we keep going, um, we have three dots at the very end, and that is going to be an S. Now you'll notice every time there was two X's, I went ahead and put a line, and that's just so that I know that these are separate words. Next we have a dot dash over here, so that's going to be an A. Um, if we keep going, we have a single dash here, and that's going to be a T. 
Um, then we see four dots again. And so we can assume that is an H. Um, and then we see a dot over there. So that's going to be an E. And we see two dashes over here. So we know that's an N. All right. So we have some words filled in. It's not too obvious what it is yet. So we're just going to have to play around. So we know over here that we have to fit in T, U, V, W, X. Um, so if we just take a look and we think about it, we know that X is probably the least likely to be used as a keyword. And we also know that X is supposed to end with an X on it. And that makes sense if X just like falls right in its alphabetical order and is placed right here. So if we try that out, where X is equal to X dash X, then we get this to be T. If we keep going, is there any more X's I see? I see one more with X dot X. So that means um, this would be a T over here. And that is all the X's that I see. Let's keep going um, kind of along that same path. So we have T, U, V, W. Once again, if you think about it logically, out of these four letters, the ones that are least likely to be used are probably V and W. So if we just try it with that hint um, and just try our best here, if we fill in all the V's and W's, um, let's see, I see a W right over there. Oh, fill in is x dash dash. So then we get a g over here. All right. So let's keep trying to guess where each of these letters can go. So um, if we try um, to try to fill in this gap over here, so we know that's going to go c d e f g. We already have h i j k l. Now C is probably not that commonly going to be used as a keyword, so we can try placing C right over there. And if we fill in C, we get dash dot dot, which is an L. And you can kind of guess that the word is probably going to be bulls. So that means our L is equal to dot dot X. So L is equal to dot dot X, which means it goes right over there. If we keep filling in the C's, we get dash dot dot. And the L's obviously dot dot X dot dot X. Um, any more L's and C's? We have another one dot dot X. And then at the very end dot dot X. So at the very end, we have an S. Over here, we have an H. And over here, we have an E and an H. So that makes the. All right, so we see some progress here. Now we have something blank bowls, something, and then we keep going the whatever something. So we have a lot to figure out here. So now we've taken C and we've taken L off our list. Once again, if we take a look at, you know, J and K, they're probably not gonna get used in the keyword. So we can try filling in J and K over there. If we go with that assumption, we're going to get, um, most obviously I see a K over here, so we're going to get dash, dash, um, dash, 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 right? Um, and this is going to turn into an O. Um, I don't see any more J's and K's quite so far, um, but we can fill it in along as we go. So we have J and K in there. Now we have left D, E, F, G, I. All right. So if we take a look over here, um, oh, we have O's. So we have the O over here. We have dash dot dot, um, or sorry, dash dot dash, right? Yeah. So we have at, all right, so something at, then we have another O over here, so dash dot um dash and then we get another at so at the all right so some more progress um we have we don't have u we don't have e yet we have l 
So that's going to be dash dot dot. And that turns into is. Or sorry, it's going to be dot dot dash. So it's going to be dot dot x. There we go. Is. Bulls. Um, so something is bulls something something at the. All right. Um, so this looks at whatever moves could possibly be moves. If we try it as moves, we actually get dot dash x, um, which ends up going dot dash x, ends up going here, moves. Then if we try to fill in all of our g's based off of that, um, we make some further progress where this then turns into an a. This is probably going to be charge. Um, so now we have our f's covered because our f's are going to be dot dash uh, dot and dot dash. Um, and then, yeah, so we have dot dash dot. That's going to be end up c. Charge at whatever moves. So if we just f keep filling stuff in a little bit more, we're going to get this to be dot dash dot. And um, that ends up being an R. Um, we have another one of those dot dash dot. Um, we have a V over here, dash dot dash. Um, so this is going to end up being they. That means R has to start with an X because this is clearly the end of the word. Um, so the only place we have dot dash, so J. We don't have U yet and we don't have T yet, so we can't really do a lot more about that. Same with up here, we have, we do have G. G is gonna be dot, um, dot dash X. So if we keep going, then we get a D over here and an A. So this is probably going to end up being mad or something of the sort. Um, that means P has to end with a double X and we have to draw a word over there. So this could probably be truth. Truth is bulls something mad at the something, something they, this could be just charge at whatever moves. So truth is bulls, this could be color. Um, it could be bulls aren't mad at the color, red, and then so on and so forth. So really the main idea is you just have to know how to like fill in all the words and letters. So with that, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to try this one on your own. Um, feel free to pause the video and just try to follow the same process which I did. Uh, first, fill in the letters that you know, figure out the Morse code, and then go on from there. All right, so hopefully you guys pause the video and try to um, this by yourself. And if we take a look at the answers, you should have gotten straight roads do not make skillful drivers with your keyword being race. And then, like I said earlier, everything else is going to be in alphabetical order. All right. So that brings us to the end of the fractionated Morse code cipher. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment if you guys have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.